G'day, g'day, I'm Chase of Blango EX, and today we're going to be reacting to the deadliest being on planet Earth, the bacteriophage, I think is how it's pronounced, by Kurzgesagt in a nutshell. Uh, this was one on my to be reacted to playlist that I haven't reacted to yet, uh, and I'm excited to get back into Kurzgesagt because, you know, I think I could continue to react to Kurzgesagt videos all the time, and I'll never get bored because there's always a really, like, weird topic that isn't really talked about uh, that he always covers, so it is very interesting to get into. And if you have not seen, seen me before, hello, my name is Chester Blanger Reacts. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so because over 80% of the people who watch these kind of videos are not actually subscribed, so please consider subscribing if you have not already. Turn on that, turn on that notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Leave a like if you end up enjoying and comment your thoughts. And if you have a suggestion for a video you would want me to react to in the future, drop it in the comment section below uh, because I do read every single comment, as you guys already know. All right, let's get into this. The deadliest being on planet Earth, the bacteriophage. <laughs> Sounds like some kind of Pokemon or something. I don't know. Let's go. A war has been. Oh, oh, that was such a vile <laughs> sound effect. Like. <laughs> a war. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to stop. Has been raging for billions of years, killing trillions every single day, while we don't even notice. The war is fought by the single deadliest entity on our planet, the bacteriophage, or phage. Oh, I pronounced it. Okay, cool. For short. The phage. <laughs> cool, it's good. A phage is a virus, not quite alive, not quite dead. Okay. Also, they look as if someone made them up. Their head is an icosahedron, a sort of dice with 20 faces and 30 edges. It contains the genetic material of the virus and often sits on a long tail that has leg-like fibers. Okay. There are more phages on Earth than every other organism combined, including bacteria. Really? More phages on Earth, phages on Earth than every organism, including bacteria. Wow, that's... Whoa, okay. They, what are these things? <laughs> and they are probably everywhere living things exist. Right. Billions are on your hands, in your intestines, and your eyelids right now. <laughs> Can't smell them. <laughs> Can't see them either. Hello? <laughs> Radio. Billions. All right. Well, so there's trillions on our body then, I suppose. Yoink. That's not very... That's not very... Uh, not a very nice thought. I think I've heard of these though. Like, there's always things literally dying on your face, crawling on your face, living on your face. Mm. Billions are on your hands, in your intestines, and your eyelids right now. Which Thanks. might make you Thank nervous you. since phages are responsible for the majority of deaths on Earth. But <laughs> you're lucky. While they do commit genocide for breakfast, they only kill bacteria. <laughs> commit genocide for breakfast. Radio. <laughs> lucky. While they do commit genocide for breakfast, they only kill bacteria. Up to 40% of all bacteria in the oceans are killed by them every single day. Wow. But phages also have major flaws. Like any other virus, phages need a host to survive and reproduce. They're not much more than genetic material in a hull, and they special. <laughs> <laughs> Love the little sound effects he puts in. Use. They're not much more than genetic material in a hull, and they specialize. Usually, a phage has chosen one specific bacteria and maybe some of its very close relatives. Hmm. These are its prey. Imagine a phage as like a cruise missile that only hunts and kills members of one very unlucky family. <laughs> okay. When a phage finds its victim, it connects its tail fibers with receptors and uses a sort of syringe to puncture the surface. In a weird motion, the phage squeezes its tail and injects its genetic information. Oh. Within minutes, the bacteria is taken over. It's now forced... That's almost like a mind control kind of thing. ...to manufacture... Like, it's like... <laughs> I don't know why this came to my head, but that episode of Plankton when he, like, puts buckets on all of their heads and then they all... <laughs> it's kind of like what the phage does to bacteria. <laughs> nice chase. Nice Within one. minutes, the bacteria is taken over. It's now forced to manufacture all the parts of new phages. They only stop when the bacteria is filled up with brand new phages. In the hmm. final step, they produce endolysin, a powerful enzyme that punches a hole in the bacteria. The pressure is so high that the bacteria sort of vomits out all of its insides and dies. Oh, that's brutal. It's like a Mortal Kombat fatality. 
Oof, let me hear that chemical again. Powerful enzyme that punches a hole. In the final step, they produce endolysin. Endolysin, okay. A powerful enzyme that punches a hole in the bacteria. The pressure is so high that the bacteria sort of vomits out all oh, of its... Oh, that sound of it... <laughs> ...sides and dies. Oh. New Creepy. phages are released and begin the cycle anew. In the last few years, back Wait, so released out of the punctured hole? Oh, so it's almost like it's impregnating it and then giving birth to more phages. <laughs> this is... What is it? Th uh, okay. Bacteriophages have enjoyed the attention of the second deadliest beings on Earth, humans. Recently, mm. we've started looking into injecting millions of them into our bodies because we're sort of getting desperate. We screwed up. Oh, what is this like? Like sci-fi alien music. I guess that's what they're going for with this kind of thing. Millions of them into our bodies because we're sort of getting desperate. We screwed up. In the past, a single cut or a sip from the wrong puddle could kill you. Bacteria were our phages, tiny monsters that hunted us mercilessly. But then, ah. about 100 years ago, we found a solution in nature. By accident, we found fungi that produced a compound that killed bacteria, antibiotics. Suddenly, we had a powerful ah. super weapon. Gotcha. Antibiotics were so effective that we stopped thinking of bacteria as monsters. Only the old and weakest among us were killed by them. We used antibiotics more and more for less and less serious causes. We lost respect for the monsters and the weapon. But bacteria are living things that evolve, and one by one, they started to become immune against our weapons. This continued until we had created what are called superbugs. Bacteria immune to almost everything we have. Oh. This immunity is spreading across the world as we speak. Hmm. By 2050, superbugs could kill more humans a year than cancer. Oh, wow. The days when a cut or bladder infection or a cough could kill you or your loved ones are coming back. In the US alone, more than 23,000 people die from resistant bacteria each year. Oh, wow. But it turns out that phages, our tiny killer virus robots, could save us. We can inject them into our bodies to help cure infections. Hold on, how can injecting millions of viruses into an infection be a good idea? Phages are very, very specialized killers of bacteria. But would they almost then become immune to the phages? Because if they're like superbugs and they're so immune to everything we throw at them, and I'm sure that's not the case for everyone. I'm sure certain people who don't take um, antibiotics for a lot of things or just refuse certain medical treatments, maybe they just die. Um, or maybe their bacteria isn't actually immune to literally everything that, they throw at it, you know, I'm sure it's a case by case thing, but again, it's, it would go through our genes and DNA. So generation by generation, maybe the bacteria would become more immune to things we throw at it just from the people before us. So specialized in fact, that humans are completely immune to them. We are too different. Ah. We encounter billions of phages every day and we just politely ignore each other. <laughs> Antibiotics are like carpet bombing, killing everything even the good bacteria in our intestines that we don't want to harm. Uh. Phages are like guided missiles that only attack what they're supposed to. Beautiful analogy as well. Literally like the first one, <laughs> antibiotics, setting a bomb off inside, killing all the good and bad bacteria, which you don't want to do. And the <laughs> bacteriophage, a guided missile, which only takes out the bad. Very good analogy. Love love it. How he um, explains and kind of simplifies certain explanations to then explain it simpler <laughs> wow i literally just went on a anyway <laughs> just whatever wait a minute if we use phages to kill bacteria won't bacteria develop ways of defending themselves mm. well it's more complex than that okay phages evolve too uh, there has been an arms it's almost like a yeah an arms race i was about to say like a space race <laughs> between the two biggest powers <laughs> Okay. Race between them and bacteria for billions of years, and so far they're doing great. This makes phages <laughs> small. Wilhelm scream again. Ah! Of years, and so far they're doing great. This makes phages. Who can do a good Wilhelm scream impression? Ah. Oh. Phages smart weapons that are constantly getting better at killing. 
But even if bacteria were to become immune against our phage, we still might be able to win. It turns out that in order to become resistant to even just a few species of phages, bacteria have to give up their resistance to antibiotics. Ah, we might be there you go. It's a, it's a coin. It's a coin flip. They have to choose defense against one and vulnerability to the other between antibiotics and bacteriophages. Ah, interesting. Able to trap them. That's handy. <laughs> in a so they're not infinitely getting more powerful and immune to everything. Patch 22. There we go. This has already been successfully tested with a patient who had no other hope left. Oh. The bacteria Pseudomonas aeruginosa, one of the most... Pseudomonas aeruginosa? <laughs> Sounds like an Italian name. <laughs> ...had no other hope left. The bacteria Pseudomonas aeruginosa, one of the most feared bacteria, infected the man's chest cavity. I shouldn't make jokes. I don't know. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> They are naturally resistant to most antibiotics and can even survive an alcoholic hand gel. After Whoa. years of What? Su Damn. That's crazy. Offering a few Bro, that ki stuff kills everything. <laughs> a few thousand phages were directly inserted into his chest cavity together with antibiotics the bacteria were immune to. After a few weeks, the infections had completely disappeared. Yes. Unfortunately, this treatment is still experimental, Good. and pharma companies are still reluctant to invest the necessary billions in a treatment that has no official approval yet. Mm. I mean, if the research is there, it makes sense. But, you know, it goes up to the higher-ups and the, the big wigs, so it de really depends on how they uh, want to run their <laughs> certain companies. But things are finally changing. In 2016, the largest phage clinical trial to date began, and phages are getting more and more attention. Yes. And it's like, it's like CRISPR, right? We did a video on that, if you want to check it out. I'll leave a um, link to the playlist of my Courts Cause Creations in the description. Uh, sorry, in the pinned comment, not the description. <laughs> uh, so you can check that out. We did a thing on CRISPR, and it's similar. Like There's these amazing technologies that are being developed uh, recently, and they are only now getting attention like CRISPR and now apparently bacteriophages so to get used to it because the era in which antibiotics have been our super weapon is drawing to a close hmm. it might be a weird concept but injecting the deadliest being on planet earth directly into our bodies could save millions of lives yeah, it's pretty ironic isn't it <laughs> this video was made possible by a grant from the bill and melinda gates foundation <gasps> if you'd like really wow they got connections bill gates yeah Oh, they got divorced. That's unlucky. Again, this is three years old. Oh, well, it's still cool that they have that connection. This video was made possible by a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. If you'd like to support Kurtzgesagt, you can do so on patreon.com slash Kurtzgesagt and get fancy things in return. Hmm. Oh. Oh, there was no whack. Guess I didn't do the whack. I was looking forward to the whack. Anyway, uh, that was the deadliest being on planet Earth, the bacteriophage by Kortzgesagt in a nutshell. Very interesting on that. There was something else I was going to mention before uh, they ended off. Mm, I've lost it. Anyway, let me know if you did end up enjoying uh, that video. And leave a like if you did, because it helps the channel. Uh, and subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already and you would like more of this kind of content. Comment your thoughts on this kind of stuff. And if you have heard of it and... If you have any experience with it, if you know anyone who's had this experiment done on them, uh, well, in them, I suppose, <laughs> or if you've d had it done, or yeah, if you have anything to add, leave it in the comment section below. Let's have a discussion. I do read every single comment, so that would be much appreciated. Also, if you want to follow me uh, on other platforms, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at CHYZNZ, and join my Discord server. All links in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Chase of Blingo I'll see myself out.